There is a great new season of High School Musical, the musical approaching us. What can you tease us in store this season? Oh, well, there's lots of drama, lots of good music, lots of, of good dance numbers. It's, it's just a lot of, you know, we had a lot of fun with season one with the whole group. And I feel like you just get to see us all grow and develop even more this season. So it's a lot of fun. Have you had much of a say then in how Seb goes on this season in his character development? I mean, not really. I think they definitely try to cater to us and, you know, they, they watch us and they see how we speak and interact with each other. And I think that definitely plays a role in how they, you know, make our characters work. But um, yeah, no, I don't get to really have any say. <laughs> were, you, were you looking forward to then sharing a scene with someone or someone's in particular more this season than you had got a chance to work with them last year? Um, yeah, I actually uh, had a, I don't know if I can really say that much, but I, I feel like being a series regular this season, I was able to really um, be a part of the group more and interact with more of the cast members than I did last year for sure, yeah. Is there much room to improv then when you're working in these scenes or is it very by the book? Um, sometimes there's room, there's room for some like ad-libbing here and there, but we do kind of stick to the script pretty strictly, um, I would say. We've seen the wonderful trailer to come for this season and it sounds like you guys will be doing Beauty and the Beast this year for the musical instead of High School Musical 2. How does mm -hmm. Seb feel about that? Um, I think we all were kind of expecting it to be High School Musical 2, but then, of course, I'm such a huge fan of High School Musical 2, uh, of, of Beauty and the Beast as well, so I think, I think Sub is thrilled about it. I think he's just excited to do musical theater with his friends at the end of the day. Can you tease which character we'll be seeing you play in the musical, or are we waiting with bated breath to find out his role? I think you have to wait. <laughs> Had to ask. <laughs> of course, of course. Are there any nerves going on with the kids as they compete for this magical and very important award that uh, they're going against a rival school for? Oh, yes. I think that's definitely like the main arc of the season is seeing how everyone deals with the high stakes of this competitive nature and, you know, trying to go up against North High. <laughs> we saw that Derek Huff is a new addition this season. Talk about working with him and how he changes the dynamics going into this season of the show. Yeah, Derek Huff is amazing. He's, I feel like he's such an icon of like, first of all, just like the dance world and just the Disney world. Um, and I, I just think he's so amazing. So I think he brought so much fun, charisma and, you know, conflict to the show. Um, but yeah, it, he, uh, he's great. I think Miss Jen and him have some really fun moments for sure. He's quite a likable villain, I have to say. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Did he have a chance to choreograph any of the numbers you guys will be dancing this season? Or is it just the uh, choreographers you've always come to enjoy working with? Um, that I've worked on, I think it's just the choreographers that we've been working with. Um, Zach Woodley and Alan Salazar, they're really wonderful. Um, but I don't know about numbers if, if Derek influenced any of the stuff that he worked on so I don't know. What kind of dance and musical background do you personally bring to the series? I actually have been dancing my whole life. Um, I've been taking dance classes since I was seven um, and I never took it that seriously because I didn't think I was gonna really do it and I also you know I don't think I'm a natural born dancer, but I, I do enjoy oh, wow. dancing. It's, it's a good time. So yeah, I've been dancing my whole life, but um, yeah. What's a typical day like on set for you? Do you have choreography in the morning, scenes in the afternoon, school here and there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done with school, so I'm, I'm lucky in that regard. But um, with uh, choreography, we usually 
if we are choreographing and filming on the same day, I would say we usually would be filming and then once you're done, then we go and do rehearsal. But other than that, usually choreography is like on its own day. We have our own separate rehearsals for that. So, you know. I really just love the comedic aspects to the series as well. I mean, she hits one of the kids, Chen hits one of the kids in the head with a ball and then tells him he needs to stay in character. I mean, <laughs> those have to be some memorable moments from filming, uh, especially keep trying to keep it together. What have been some of your favorite moments on screen or maybe even off screen, if you can only tease those from filming season two? Yeah. Um... I think the the best moments for me are whenever we all, you know, if the cameras aren't rolling yet and we're sort of just waiting for a shot to get set up, um, we sometimes just get, you know, so silly behind the scenes, um, whether it's just like fooling around with each other or like cracking jokes. Um, and then sometimes, you know, you'll have, they'll, they'll start rolling and you have to just completely like shift right back into character. And I think just that, quick 180 turnaround to going from joking around with each other to all of a sudden being in this really high stakes situation. I think that is so funny, but also really a testament to everyone's skills as actors, for sure. You're able to turn Seb on like that and turn him <laughs> off like that. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it's, it's just a really great series. Uh, is there someone you'd love to see make a guest appearance in the future? Ooh, I think any, we would love to have anyone from the original High School Musical movies. That would be amazing. I, I mean, we loved having Lucas Grabeel in season one. And of course, uh, Casey Stroh, who's Martha Cox. But um, yeah, I think any of them, it would be so cool to have them. I'm such a huge fan of the original movies, so. You have great comedic timing as well. If you watch the episodes, it's just really impressive. Is it something you've worked at or do you think it's just like an, a, natural comedic, a natural comedic ability you have? <laughs> I mean, I think it kind of is half and half. I'm sure half of it is natural, but also, I mean, I've been training and performing my whole life leading up to this. So, you know, it all goes together and makes it, you know, as natural as it can be. <laughs> Along with my previous question uh, before this one, do you guys get to spend much time together offset as you do onset? Or, you know, you guys are probably working like 16 hour days, so you're pretty much on set most of the time and not offset. Yes. But do you all get to spend much time together when you're not working? Yeah, this year was obviously a little bit different with um, the COVID protocols. We right. all were kind of trying to keep our distance and not catch the virus um but other than that in season one definitely and a bit in season two here and there we we definitely do like to have game nights here and there or even like movie nights we we like to spend time together it really is a nice group of people and I feel like it's its own little family that we have in Salt Lake City <laughs> Are you able to tease maybe some episodes that are really favorites of yours or ones that people should look out for for this season? Sure. Obviously, the uh, performance day episode of Beauty and the Beast will be uh, riveting. <laughs> oh, yes. It'll be very fun. Um, and then I, I can say, because I've said it before, um, I am looking forward for people to see episode five. I am proud of that. What do you think it is about High School Musical, the musical, that really makes it such a fan favorite series? Um, I think it's just, you know, fitting into labels uh, that are in high school. I feel like everyone gets like put into specific groups and like clicks, I guess, as Sharpay calls right. it. Um, and I think everyone can relate to sort of feeling like maybe there's more to me than just what my clique is or what group I sort of have been in. Like, and I think in High School Musical, they definitely explore like, you know, really expanding your horizons and trying new things that bring you joy with the, you know, basketball into the musical theater and the science decathlon. I think everyone can relate to that aspect of high school and I think it's just so much fun and the music is so good and oh, iconic so iconic characters what have you personally taken away from your time working on the show 
Um, I would say I've personally just so enjoyed learning what it's like working on a television show. It's my first like really um, professional level television show. So it's just been such a joy getting to learn and work alongside these pros. Um, everyone is so talented and they all inspire me endlessly. So it's just a great group to be around. The show's getting ready to be released again in May. How do you plan to celebrate? We can't do too much <laughs> within certain boundaries, but there are a little bit of celebrating. I'm sure you can get done just, you know, necessarily with your family or your close friends. How do you plan to celebrate the season two release? I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, we haven't done any planning yet, but I'm sure we'll have many, uh, like viewing parties. Um, I will be going home at one point, so I'll get to be with my family for one of the episodes. Good. So that'll be, but episode yeah, five. Be, <laughs> episode five, but around then. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> You're a part of social media. Do you really enjoy that instant fan feedback you receive to the episodes and from the fans who actually really take time to reach out and tell you how they feel about your portrayal and what your character means to them? Oh yeah, it means so much to me when I get to hear from the fans that watch the show. They're so sweet, most of them. <laughs> um, they're very, very sweet, and they, you know, they'll they'll make jokes too that I think are hilarious with their memes and just they they are very creative. And I love the fan art. I'm so amazed yes. by the art that people come up with. So that's really cool. I love interacting with them. What would you like to say then to everyone who is a fan and supporter of you and the wonderful work that you do? Oh, I guess I just want to say thank you, first of all, but also I am so excited to continue sharing in the fun as season two comes out. I'm so excited.